Welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create an advanced search bar in Excel that can search across all columns. Let's get started. This data contains information on the company's sales for the month of April. Thus, retailer's ID, retailer's name, state, product category, unit price, unit sold, and sales method. The objective is to create an advanced search bar in Sheet 1 that can search across all columns. To create the search bar, navigate to the Insert tab, go to Illustrations, and then click on Shapes. Let's choose Rectangle with rounded corners. Click anywhere and create the shape. Adjust the shape to your preferred size. Under Shape Format, let's remove the fill color and add shape effect. You are free to choose any shape effect. Let's create another rectangle shape, but this time, it's smaller. Place it at the left corner. Adjust the size if yours did not fit well. Now, Navigate to the Developer tab, click on Insert, and under Active X Controls, choose Text Box. Drag to create a rectangle shape here. You can adjust the position. Right click and select Properties. Go to Link Cell. What we're doing is linking the text box to any empty cell on this sheet. Let's choose Cell 1. Change back style to transparent. Next, special effect to flat. Close the properties box. Back on the sheet, turn off design mode. As you start typing in the search box, you'll notice that the text also appears in cell 1. Now, let's go to the sales data sheet. Place the cursor anywhere in the data and use the shortcut key Ctrl plus T to insert a table. Check, my table has headers. Let's give the table a name. Navigate to formulas, then select name manager. Here, you'll see the name of the table which is table 1. Let me quickly delete these two items. They are not needed for this video. I am renaming the table, say, sales data for easy referencing. Copy the table headers to the search bar sheet. Paste it at any preferred location. You notice that as you adjust the columns, the search bar moves. Let's address this issue. First, go to the Developer tab and turn on Design Mode. Next, hold the Control key and select all the pieces for the search bar. Then, right-click, go to Group, and select Group. Right-click again and go to Size and Properties. Under Properties, select Don't Move or Size with Cells. Close it. Place the search bar anywhere. And now adjust the column width. Turn off Design Mode and ungroup it. Everything is working fine. Now, we're going to combine different functions to perform the search. Equal to filter. The array is sales data, the name we gave to the table. Include, combine, not. Is error.
And then, the search. The find text is the value inside the search bar, which equals the value in cell one Within text is the sales data header. Select the header you want to find the search item, retailer ID. We can include all the headers by using the ampersand to concatenate the headers. It goes like Sales data open square bracket Choose retailer Continue it like this to include all the headers. Close the brackets for each function. For the filter function, if empty, place empty. Sime column, space, semicolon, close the bracket. We see the entire dataset because there is nothing in the search bar. Enter a word into the search bar. See how dynamic the search is. You can search by any header name or even a part of a name. It works perfectly. Alright, let's try to enhance the appearance of the search bar. Go back to the Developer tab and turn on Design Mode, then select all the pieces and group them. Let's move it aside a bit. In cell D4, enter, please enter your search value here. Italicize it and reduce its opacity a bit. Drag the search bar back. Turn off design mode and ungroup. You see the text inside the bar. As you begin typing, the text disappear. However, when the cursor is placed on any cell, we still see the text behind the search word. Let's address this issue. Let's repeat the previous steps to adjust the position of the search bar slightly. Place the cursor in cell D4 and go to conditional formatting. The idea here is that we want to format the color of the text in cell D4 to white whenever there is a character in cell 1. Click on New Rule and select Use a Formula to determine which cell to format. If the length of cell 1 is greater than 0, Format Text to Color, select White Color. Let's test it. Perfect. It's working. Place the search bar on the text.
Go back and turn off design mode. We can remove the cell grid lines and also place a search icon on the search bar. Choose your preferred icon, adjust the size and place it on on the left hand corner. Everything is working as expected. Last, but not least, let hide the value of the cell one. Thank you for watching, subscribe, comment, like, and share.